Candace, Candace, good morning. It's such a pleasure to see you. Hi, everybody in Flint. Good morning, International Academy of Flint, 2820 South. Saginaw Street, the gateway to educational learning and opportunity. Where is it, Paul? It is on uh, South Saginaw South Side, Street. Good Paul. Yeah, Paul is a geographic wizard. He's a wizard. Hi, everybody. Glad to see you. Paul Herring's here with us in his sandals. You like that, don't you? I do, sir. I love your toes. They're I so wish pretty. I had prettier toes. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> Candace, what are you good laughing morning. at? <laughs> <laughs> this, this would be our ridiculous program, but they all are, so no big change there. Candace, good morning for the third time. Good morning. What'd you do yesterday, girl, on the 4th of July? Just spent it with family. That's, hey, that's the purpose. That's great. And rejoicing in our freedom, and that's wonderful. Oh, Candace, we might talk with you later on. Uh, probably after the program, right? <laughs> okay, because we've got a jam-packed program today. Looking in my immediate right, I see Mark Smith. Mark, how do you do? You are a neighborhood resident. And, You're on TV. Uh, of course, very active. Hi, everybody. Glad to see you this evening. It's International Academy of Flint time, and we have a great program for you with a lot of guests as he scans the... Uh, the guests, as he scans the guests, that's the clue. So now you want to direct to? Is yeah. that what it is? <laughs> <laughs> well, hi, folks. Uh, we got Mark Smith with us, <clears throat> and he is world famous for his uh, ability to train people about how to handle disasters. And we got a special disaster preparation program coming up, and it's called Prepare, Prepared is Protected, or something to that effect. Prepared is Protected. protected. Okay, and we're going to have you talk a whole lot about that, partner. But if you are interested, folks, in coming to the International Academy of Flint, even if you think you might be interested, come on, give us a call. 600, 5,000, 600, 5,000 during the day. I am absolutely eager to give you a tour. I did about three or four this week. And, of course, we give our diagnostic test uh, uh, several times during the summer. The next one is the 9th and the 10th, which is Wednesday, Thursday of this approaching week. We welcome you to come on, get your application in. We'd love to uh, have you to our facility, tell you what we do, how we do, and why we do, and why we are so successful. We'd love to have you join us, folks. Please be a part of our family, because that's who we think we are there as a family. And I think we are all day long because kids never want to go home. <laughs> Speaking of family, are my test scores in yet? Yes, Paul. You you scored like a cold winter day below zero. Ooh. Okay, there we go. Let me hear that drum roll. Oh, bump, 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 bump. All right. Well, anyway, come on, join us. Six hundred, five thousand. Ask for art. That's me. I think most of the time. We'd love to have you come on, take a look at our school. And now, and now. Featuring Mark Smith, who's going to talk about Prepared is Protected. Mark, what is going on in this area of disaster preparation? Well, first off, I'd like to thank Art and WFLT for hosting this. Last year during the ice storm, it became particularly clear <clears throat> that Flint and Genesee County were simply not prepared for a disaster. And after a lot of discussion at the city and county level, it was decided that the American Red Cross would train outreach volunteers to go out into their community and teach basic preparedness. We did a survey and we found out that 60% of the residents of Flint felt they were completely unprepared for disaster. Now, you don't have to have lived in Flint very long to hear stories about what the Beecher tornado was like. Terrible. Yeah, terrible. So by going out into the community and presenting this information, we hope to save lives, let you know what you're going to be facing in a large-scale disaster. Mm -hmm. And you are working with the Red Cross as well as the city of Flint, and we have a presentation coming up. Uh, Wednesday the 10th of, that's what I want you to hit on so folks can grab a pen and pencil and come on over to International Academy of Flint. Mark is going to do the training. He's extremely skilled and knowledgeable and... Uh, last last winter made that very clear. Abundantly uh, obvious, yeah. In fact, we, uh, in fact, uh, Carrie, or that's when you were back here in Flint. <clears throat> Again, we've got another guest with us from Oklahoma City, but she came to us in December, a visitation, visiting, and... Uh, you joined us in our gym when we were helping feed the folks that were sequestered at the Red Cross, Mark. Thanks to you mentioning it to me. And we called the Red Cross and said, hey, can we help? And they said, oh, please. So uh, we fed folks there, have, gave kids some gym time, and I think it was a nice respite for 
those that were uh, kind of in a sequestered situation. So Mark, we appreciate the Red Cross very much and all that you do for them. This is a cooperative uh, venture in training between the City of Flint and of course the Red Cross and the flyer. We're going to hand deliver a flyer this weekend to all of our uh, neighbors uh, around the, in our school neighborhood and welcome them to this event on the 10th. That's part of what our school does. We try to, of course, we provide food distributions, folks know that, and a variety of other things, and inclusive of this uh, uh, training for pre being prepared for a disaster. And it's hard to talk about disaster when you have a 75 degree day like today and folks just their mind isn't on it. But when it hits, you know, why wasn't I ready? Why didn't I think of this is your time to get that preparation? So we'll be there from 5.30, 6.37, somewhere in there, depends upon questions. We're kind of expecting a 40, 50 people, Mark, I think, will come to this. And uh, I know it, it's, uh, the weather's nice and you'd rather not do it, but please think ahead, plan ahead, and attend this meeting to learn how to prepare for the loved ones, yourself, and your family members. And even uh, if they're not in Flint, a disaster strikes anywhere, you can share information among the uh, troops. And Mark, thank you for that. Uh, we appreciate that. Let me move to it. I'll come back to that. And by the way, folks, if you want to call right now, 239-5733. 239-5733. Candace just fell asleep. Call. Get her awake so we can keep this program just a hopping. Candace is a grinning at me, sort of. Okay, in between those daggers. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Love you, Candace. I didn't hear any love you back, did you, Mark? That, this could be a disaster in the making. <laughs> I think she turned you off. Okay. Hello, if, if, if I'm still, still on the air, air. <laughs> somebody call, somebody call. Okay. All right, hey, what's across from me here? My goodness sakes, Blondie, how you doing today? Very what's well. your name, girl? Terry Wenslack. Are you my wife? Oh. <laughs> no. <huh>? Wow. <laughs> That's Everybody wrong. laughs at that. I'm trained in first aid. Okay. You got a kit for that. Yes, ma'am, I've got it right there. Go right ahead. Okay. Oh, I think, I think we need here. two kits for that. <laughs> well, Carrie, welcome to Flint. Where Thank are you me. from, girl? I'm from Oklahoma City, and when you talked about the beaches. Oh, oh, mercy. Oh, no. Mark. Yeah. F5. Oh. Yeah. Last May, and they just. I forgot. You yeah. in the alley. Yeah, you are in the alley. In the alley. Yeah. Actually, I've been very fortunate. Um, we haven't had any tornadoes at all, but I've heard September. September is rough, but the school that was demolished by the F5 last year in Moore, Oklahoma, I'm 20 minutes away from Moore. Um, it has just been rebuilt, and it will open in the fall. But it was a very emotional rebuilding, and oh, that sure. town was completely annihilated. And then a week later, they had another F3. So. But this year it's been, we are experiencing the same weather you are right now. Yeah. Perfect weather. Yeah, indeed, indeed. Yes. Yeah, when I heard you're moving to Oklahoma City, you can't imagine how happy I was. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yeah. I mean, right. if you go to the drive through McDonald's, they have tornado shelters. Buy one right. Big Mac, but get a tornado shelter for free. I mean, that's how much they're wow. really promoting yeah, a tornado shelter. That. Well, that was funny. a joke. Yeah. <laughs> Buy a Big Mac, get a shelter okay. for free. <laughs> well, I thought they might have signs posted. I thought they only came yeah. with the fries. Right. <laughs> That's they, part of the combo. <laughs> yeah. That was Paul Harris. Okay. Very we pay widespread there on, on the shelters. Yeah, okay. In fact, it's a joke we pay him. Okay. Well, Harry, uh, why, <laughs> you're here uh, to visit someone, I guess, huh? Are you with family and friends I, now? I am with family. Okay. Family and friends, yes. I heard you were on a power walk this morning. Who was joining you in the power walk? My niece was joining me in the is power right? walk. Is your niece at the table? Oh, folks, I know you're falling apart at home. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you could give the microphone to your niece Here. and find out if I want to grab that one. Hi, hi niecey Pooh. How are you doing today? What's your name, niece? Evian. Evian what? Evian. When's that? Oh, you must be part of the family here. Okay. <laughs> and uh, you're going into grade handful? Okay, yes. wow, I hear you're a pretty good student. Yeah. Did you get straight A's again this last semester? Yes. Isn't it boring? I saw that report card. <laughs> there were seven straight A's. That's what we care. I mean, right. Carrie, uh, yeah, beyond, that's, so, that's so good. I kid with you a lot, but we're so very proud of you. Thank I know, you. yeah, well, I know your folks take pride in, in what you do, and they, you know, they're, they're attentive to you getting your homework done, but you're a very bright child, and we're looking forward to a great future. Do you want to be an astronaut or anything? No. What do, you, what do you want to do? A dentist. A dentist. Yeah, that's, she's consistent with that, Dad. That yeah, has yeah. not changed, no, at least in the past 12 months. Yeah. She's sticking with that. Okay. Well, very good. 
Evian, who was that dude next to you there? My father. Was your father? No. <laughs> <laughs> we, need, we need a kit, please. <laughs> kit, too. <right? laughs> Maybe give Dad that mic. Hey, Dad, how you doing, buddy? Yeah, good morning, it's, it's sir. It's family day here, folks. Okay, <laughs> all right. Hey, um, Pops, nice job with the kids. And I see your son is back there hiding in the... Yeah, he's the, a... Uh, Flushing A student as yeah, well. Okay, that's great. And mom, right. mom, thank you for all you do for these guys. It's so Hi, good. mom. When I say, <laughs> always wanted to say that. <laughs> <laughs> um, j just thank you. Yeah, I know that the both of you are so intent on the kids doing well, and that's what it really counts. And the, that application is good to who's ever listening, whatever school you go to. You got a mom and a dad here <clears throat> that are concerned about education. They value it and they cherish it. And it's reflective everywhere, everywhere in the city, the county, wherever. So if your parents are, you know, if education's important to them, chances are the kids are going to do well because they, in turn, will pick up the values of the parents. I mean, that's pretty, pretty, pretty sure thing. And of course, that also applies to uh, spiritual life as well. If, if it's uh, practiced and and adhere to at the home, and, and it's a priority there. It will become a priority in the lives of the children as well. So that's a simple lesson, but it, and it's a heavy lesson, meaning it's really important. And sometimes it's skipped over in life. But the parent, the value, the parents are the first child's first teacher, and with the family that we have at the table, that certainly is reflective of great things to occur. Well, okay, Kurt, uh, I guess you were headed to do some volunteering this afternoon. What do you got in mind? I will be on uh, South Saginaw, almost, uh, well, certainly across the street from your school, but uh, down the way a little bit, but still uh, rather close. We are beautifying the area. Good idea. Um, I suspect that by the end of the day, uh, will look a lot like Beverly Hills. <laughs> okay. Maybe that's a I don't very optimistic well. thought. But, uh, okay. uh, we're, we're making it look yeah, nice. We're, okay. we're, we're now, beautifying who's gonna area. Who's going to join you in this venture? Because I think he might be listening. Th that would be Uncle Bush Dush. <laughs> <laughs> Bush, thank you for your volunteering. Uh, it's it's great when you can get folks to just say, listen, let's let this neighborhood look good. And we're going to be putting up some murals this afternoon. We got some up now. We're going to put some more up on the, near the intersection of Livingston and South Saginaw. Come on by. You can either honk, as many folks do. Many folks do. And I'd like you to take advantage of taking uh, a view of what we've done. It's going to be a uh, continue with our idea of a uh, ocean scenes. I think you'll appreciate that when they get all up. We're going to frame them. They go up today and get framed, yeah. Kurt. So we yes. probably got oh, yes. several hours of work ahead of us. We got, uh, but the weather is great. It is. It is and, uh, indeed. And uh, Mr. Disaster here helped us the other day. Mark, thank you for um, take the mic now for me. This is or why we can go out on a limb because we know he always has an extra kit in his pocket. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm climbing a ladder today, so you better warm up that kit, baby. <laughs> when I hit the ground, it's a disaster. <laughs> oh, Lord, I really want to thank you. Everything you've done for the South Saginaw Corridor, it's fantastic. When you come past that 12th Street Bridge, you look to the left, you look to the right, you see murals. You see these 20-foot-long flower planters. You look at the gorgeous garden at the International Academy. Of one more plug, I advocate getting any kids you can into the International oh Academy. I'll they support that. they seriously do a wonderful job, or I wouldn't be telling you, and I wouldn't yeah. do all the stuff yeah. I do for Thank art. You. Yeah, you betcha. And Mark's a, just a primary volunteer with food distributions, mural putting up and and general <laughs> cleaning up and stuff and things and other things. <laughs> So make a list of that. There'll be a test at the end of the program. <laughs> All right. Well, Mark, thank you. And uh, Kurt, thanks for uh, coming and, and uh, helping this afternoon. And uh, Glad to do my part. Indeed. You, you're doing more than your part. And I want to appreciate because you also bring your kids to the end. Wife, beautiful wife. Name's Danae. And uh, his wife. Uh, and he, he, <laughs> he brings them all to the family, to the food distributions that we do. So it's just, just great to have everybody there. That is so neat. All right, let me switch gears a little bit. Carrie, let's come back to you, because okay. I'm kind of, kind of proud of some recent things that you've been uh, awarded. So why don't you talk about the pending promotion and pending what you do promotion. for a living, young lady. Okay, well, this year I was a reading specialist at a also a public charter school in Oklahoma City. Name, name, name. Them. Dove Science Academy okay. in Oklahoma City. And starting in two weeks, I will be a curriculum director 
for four schools in Oklahoma, two in Tulsa, two in Oklahoma City. ELA, English Language Arts. Right. They have a growing um, minority population there. I will be a mentor. I will go and observe teachers, offer suggestions, model lessons, give them a timeline of what I'd like to see next time I come out. Um, well, what's your travel factor then between those four Tulsa schools? Tulsa is a full two hour drive from Oklahoma Oklahoma's City. North or south? It's north, isn't it? It is north. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. The very new position. It was created just for me. I'm a little new behind the ears, but um, we'll make it work. Okay. They um, they don't have a a strong diligence as of yet, and so okay. that's where I they say I have a calming approach. I will okay. come in and make things work. I'll carry that two by four with you. That'll right, calm that's me. right. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, get the kit ready. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tulsa yeah. is the cultural center of Oklahoma. Yes. Okay. Well, Kara, yeah, that's that's great. You shared that with me, of course, before. I was excited for you naturally. This is a real uh, ability to advance within the profession, so we're really looking forward to that. I'll also be trained in media. I'm the new spokesperson. I will be doing all the P PR. And maybe a radio program? Radio, TV. I hire out, you know. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, 99 a program. <laughs> I, I smell a guest and speaker. I'll wash your car. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, this is great. Yeah. I didn't know about the media part. You're surprising me. This was oh, just mind. put on me. I was told oh. I'm the new PR person. Okay. For well, you can do that. Schools. You got a goofy brother. He's prepared you nicely. <laughs> 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 Carrie, this is so good. It wow. Should be noted that she, it should be noted that Carrie's a product of Flint, Flint Central. Oh, of High course. Grass. We didn't even yeah. mention well, that's, that. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, graduate of Flint get the Central here. High School. Graduate of U of M Flint. And I happen to think that during your years at Flint Central, you were known as the city uh, city diving champion, champion diving. Very good. That didn't happen. And that was that was with pool, with water in the pool or without. I need to know. <laughs> uh, several times I think you hit your head pretty hard. No. no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, care. Yeah, that's great. That Thank is you. great. And then you went to school right here locally for college. Yes. You went to U of M. University of so Michigan. You are, you are really mm -hmm. a first job was at Stewart School. Stewart School. I remember that. And then yes, a couple years um, at Pearson Elementary. Right. Underneath uh, John McCoy and Sandy Bogart. Sandy, yes. Very good Bogart, friends of ours. Of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Still are. Right. Yeah. Wonderful. Uh, principal at Stewart was uh, uh, Bob, somebody. Call the name. Can't think. Uh, Dr. Bob it was. Anyway, I can't remember. A long time ago. Stewart is now a church, by the way, called okay. Second Chance. Okay. And uh, they're doing a great community w work in that immediate neighborhood. They have recreation programs, food programs, and of course, uh, naturally, a, a spiritual life as well. Perfect. So that's really, uh, they've developed very, very well. They're very proud of what they're doing. I hope somebody's listening to in fact, maybe we'll have them on the radio sometime. That'd be a good thing to do. Well, okay, Mark, uh, what do you think of this kid of mine? Oh, boy. <laughs> well, it is quite obvious that teachers run in the Winslow family, and I suspect how quickly they run yeah. depends on who is behind them. That's it. Most of them run away. <laughs> yeah, I'm the one that runs away from the teachers. Kurt, when did you learn to read? Uh, I think it was about ninth grade. So, oh, okay. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Paul, how you doing? Yeah. I was going to say yesterday. Yeah. Ninth yesterday. grade yeah. works. Yeah. Ninth grade works. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, daughter's going to be a dentist. What is son going to be? I have asked him that several times, Kurt, and he evades me. Uh, he my, always my guess says, is that he's going to lean towards engineering. Okay. That, that's Because he always said... I just want to <laughs> focus on uh, income, <laughs> yeah. and engineering will do that. Draven, is, is engineering where you think you might go? I don't know. Okay, it's a positive I don't know. Yeah. That's one of He's <laughs> certain about the uncertainty. <laughs> well, let me, let me, <laughs> very good. Let's uh, focus for a minute on uh, International Academy of Flint. And again, I just want to remind everybody, we have open enrollment. We, uh, I'm going to give you a little warning, folks that might have kindergarten children, grandparents mm -hmm. as well. We are really getting close to uh, perhaps a waiting list in kindergarten, so we're going to encourage you. Uh, I know it's early July and school starts in September. Do not wait. We're filling up in kindergarten uh, more so, I think, at, uh, that's probably the, oh no, actually, second and third graders beginning to fill as well, first, second, and third as well. So uh, this is not a threat, it's just a caution for those that are wise, and we want to take some advantage of that. So please, please come over quickly if you have an interest in that. Glad to give you a tour. We always kid about the tour, but it might assist you in understanding uh, 
everything that we do there and why we have received uh, reasonable success. Right now we've got a booming uh, after-school program, which means Youth Quest is in our building from 12.30 in the afternoon to 4.30. Grades K through 5 are on right on site. Grades 6, 7, and 8 are on field trips every single day. And the last big trip they had was to Tiger Stadium. Wow. Had a great big trip, yeah. <clears throat> and that's still in Detroit, isn't it? I was at okay. a Tigers game the other night, yes. Uh, I th was that at the zoo or at this, where was that? This Tigers? What? Comerica okay. Park. Well, Comerica, okay, very good, thank you. Paul, have you got anything to say today? No, okay, let's move Wait on. Wait a minute, <laughs> I just get my breath. I just want to, I want to commend Come on, you, your, 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 your daughter, daughter? Yes, sir. Right? That's Come not on. your wife. You said it was your wife. I, I wasn't sure. Your they look so your much daughter. alike. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. It would have been so easy for me to say something, and I didn't. This is Thank a Christian you. station. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. um, I'm impressed. Thank you. You're going to be the media, the face of, uh, of um, he, Oklahoma schools? He's a media freak. My goodness. Expert. Um, Expert. Expert. You're going to have to get your husband to spend a lot of money on clothes, so you, now you got an excuse, right? The more you know, the more he pulls. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to cost them $30. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, okay, make sure, you, make sure you call them to get the plug. No, I'm just excited. Uh, Juneteenth went fabulous. We had yep. a great time. I heard. I really um, did. Got a little, yeah. some bills left. You know, the city billed us a little more than we thought they were, so we're working on paying that off. But we're going to be ready for our 25th okay. uh, annual next year. And the next big one coming up is, of course, uh, that's going to be Kwanzaa uh, for me. Kwanzaa around uh, mid-December. End of yeah, December. Mid -December. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, the next the one for me. Okay. Well, very mm -hmm. good, Paul. We appreciate uh, you know all that you do, not just here for us in our school, but throughout the city. All the things you tape and the good things you do for people, and the great boys that you have. He just graduated a senior. He's off to Central Michigan University. Some scholarship Perfect. money available. Perfect. And the other one is uh, at Michigan State University. Completed second. Year. I can't he just told me his new roommate is a 45-year-old woman. Okay. Can you believe that? Uh, How'd that happen? Um, that, let's skip let's, over that at the moment. Let's station here. Okay. <laughs> that never happened to me. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Cougar time. <laughs> Mark, do you have a kit for that? We've got a kit. We don't have a kit for that. We do have a kit I have got a nap for that. Okay. Well, uh, Paul, again, for all that you and your wife do for the kids, just great. And thanks for your help throughout the years at International Academy here. Uh, a well-respected and uh, well-desired person. When you come in the door, they usually open it. So it's it's a wonderful <laughs> thing. You're a good guy, Paul Harris, and I'm proud. Although to have it's you the door friend. to the dumpster out back. But hey, I thank I thank you, and you you uh, Indeed, you are a gentleman and a scholar as well. Okay. Well. Um, okay. <laughs> thank you. For Mark, you're gonna grab the mic and let's give a reminder now about the tenth. You tell them what you what you want them to do it and where is it going to happen at, and, and uh, tell a little bit about the event again quickly. Disaster preparation at what school? We're going to be at the International Academy of Flint, 2820 South Saginaw, right at 475. You can't miss it. Gorgeous garden, big parking lot. <laughs> Just come on in. We're going to be going over some really basic information about how to be prepared get you started to thinking about what you need so you can carry it on a little bit further. Um, well, it's their responsibility as an adult to take care of their family. I mean, that's the case, and I'm going to be there trying to get uh, things in order uh, at where I live as well, so make sure that we are prepared for a disaster should it occur, and trusting the Lord that it will not occur. But if it were to, we have to be able to take care of family and friends. And thank you for doing that training for us. Uh, we'll be delivering flyers this weekend. If there's any listeners in our immediate neighborhood, we're going to be uh, putting a flyer in your uh, in your door and also talk about an event we're going to have on July 24th. Big pardon. One more item. Come on, Mark, hit it. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing that we need right now, as much as people to come in and learn how to be prepared, we need volunteer instructors to go out into their community oh, yeah, and spread right. this message. There is a four-hour block of training coming up at the Gen C. Lapeer chapter headquarters of the American Red Cross, and that's at 1401 Grand Travers. You can't miss it. Big building, tall antenna tower, big red cross right there at Interstate yeah. 69. I got a question. Yeah. Paul, go ahead. Can you substitute beer for three days' worth of water in your emergency kit? 
Yes, you can if you don't mind the dehydration and the, the loss of your faculties. It would work. It, it would indeed work. I don't know if it would be advisable, especially in the winter. I just want an argument. Thank you very much. Okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. But yes, we would I like you to right come out to the uh, meeting we're having the tent at the International Academy, see the type of presentation we're putting on, and see if you feel like you'd like to carry that message to your friends, church members, your loved ones. So we can avoid a few more disasters in the future. And Mark, you would actually be willing to schedule um, folks if they came that night, you would actually help do something at their church or organization as a follow-up to this one that we're going to have on the 10th. Oh, uh, yes, and, yes, yes, indeed. Uh, we're shooting for 60 outreach volunteers. We have several right now who can go out into your groups and spread this message. So give us a call at the American Red Cross, 232 one four zero one. If you'd like to schedule an event like that, that's great, Mark. I'm glad we brought that up. Now, Thank that you, sir. That's good. That could help some families. Well, anyway, folks, uh, we're probably going to close here soon. Uh, Carrie, get ready. Uh, I don't you quite know when you're this. going back. I should probably have asked you that before. When are you back? I'm leave. When am I back? Yeah. When are you going back? I'm leaving for Marquette Tuesday morning. Okay. And to Oklahoma City, where you live, you remember sure that? Yes, we've got this one. We've got to read from this Okay. All right, thank you. We, we need to talk more. <laughs> Having our thanks for being on the program, Kurt, as well. We usually close in this fashion. Am I about ready? Candace, are you ready for this close? Okay, everybody, we're going to utilize the letter C today, the letter C. And all, which is a, is a closing reminder International Academy, 600, 5,000, 600, 5,000. You call that number, we'll give you a tour, provide you with information about our school. We'd love you to please come by. And Paul Herring, if you are walking your dog, or are you sitting there in a fog, or might you be at a computer looking at a blog, or are you crazily calculating cavorting camels, clumsily colliding with catfish clustered in clusters of cucumbers and cosmic kumquats capsized in a crumbling, catastrophic contraption of conifer cushions while clutching a cantankerous coho creamed in cottage cheese and chilled Chinese chili while clamoring, I'm cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, living in a condominium in Coleman, Car Car Cairo, or Corpus Christi, then look at somebody and say... <laughs> Sun